Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pitney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 3500 Laramie. This particular one is the Dually. Starting off up front, we are going to have the chrome package, chrome front and rear bumpers, chrome grille surround, and then your standard LED headlights as well as fog lights, chrome tow recovery hooks. Your parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper by the LED lights. This vehicle does have the 360 degree camera system. There's your front facing camera. Beautiful pearl coat white. Your 3500 is gonna be right there. Cummins turbo diesel badge. Sorry about the white out. It's very sunny today. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we've got a 235-8017 Nexon Radeon AT Pro. There's your chrome running boards, our cab length, chrome badges, if you can see, sorry again, just crazy sunny today. Chrome mirror caps with your camera system right there. This has the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from any of the four doors. Uh, something I have noticed difference between the 2020s and the 2021s, this is the fifth gen style uh, passive entry system. The one on my truck is a lot smaller than this. Coming around to the back, we do have the side indicator markers because this truck is a little bit wider than normal. Here's your dual rear wheels, your splash guards, again, side indicator, full LED light group with blind spot monitor right here, chrome rear bumper with parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. There's your Laramie badge, as well as your four x four badging. Right here we have a little light bar to indicate it is a dually. Backup camera is going to be right here. You have your seven pin, and I believe this is a camera system that you can hook up to view whatever is in your trailer or behind your trailer. Coming around to the side, we've got your diesel and DEF fill ports. Up top, we got your third brake light with integrated cargo camera. This guy does have the rear air suspension to level off your truck if you have a big heavy trailer on the back. Up top we do have your clearance cargo lights. One of the reasons I wanted to do a video on this truck was because of the interior. Um, it was actually the same interior I was debating on getting in my 2020. It's pretty unique and it reminds me of the uh, Laramie Longhorn or King Ranch style trucks. It's kind of got that Western vibe to it. Uh, not a whole bunch of difference between 2021 and 2020s. There are some in terms of packages, uh, specifically with the diesel engine. Fortunately, Ram decided, or Cummins I should say, decided to revert back to the CP3 fuel pump. So if you buy a, I think it's late 2020 build date or 2021 build date, you have a CP3 fuel pump on your 6.7 Cummins. And if you have a 2019 or 2020 early build date, unfortunately you have the CP4.2. But that's it for engine. Uh, interior, there are a couple of different packages, but I will go over the packages when we get inside. So let's take a quick look. So here it is, the frost beige and brown interior color. It looks very very pretty i think it's a very king ranch-esque style laramie longhorn style color scheme starting off over here you can see you have some suede inserts with some wood trim on this nice frost beige material then you have the dark cocoa brown color as well your lock and unlock buttons are going to be right here your window controls are going to be right here the driver and passenger are automatic up and down Right here we have all the mirror controls. Center button is your power folding mirrors. And then the button above the mirrors is actually your power spotter mirror. 
So no longer do you have to get out and manually adjust that tiny spotter mirror. You can actually adjust it from inside the truck. Now, a lot of people give the Ram owners flack and crap for driving with their tow mirrors up, even though they are not towing anything. Uh, from personal experience, when the mirror is like this, you do not get a lot of blind spot visibility with the uh, mirror in that position. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna put it in the upright position and I will show you how much more visibility you actually get. So now that the mirror is up, you can see the bottom blind spot mirror right there. You can see a lot farther on either side of the truck, which is very nice, especially if you're driving on a multi-lane highway. You can see pretty much all the way over to the farthest lane regardless of your position on the road. So uh, sometimes, you know, people give each other crap about it, but from a safety and practicality standpoint, I think it's definitely the way to go. So now moving on, we do have your rotary dial exterior light selector right here, your ambient light dimmer switch, your instrument cluster dimmer switch. That brings us to the instrument cluster. We have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, various analog gauges as well, including your DEF fluid. This center LCD display is very customizable. You can customize each of the four corners to monitor whatever you would like. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice leather wrap steering wheel, no bolsters, it is heated, it is very soft to the touch. Right here we have the control pad for the center LCD display up top. We have your hands-free call buttons. This one actually has the um, gap avoidance uh, system, or uh, adaptive cruise control, I should say. We have your gear limiter right here. And just like all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel, and then a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. This vehicle does have push button start. Also has the premium Harman Kardon audio group. As you may be able to see, there is a speaker right there. Shallow storage cubby up top with a 12 volt outlet. Coming down here, we have your lane keep assist button, hazard light button, and then your traction control off button. Below that, we have the massive 12 inch touchscreen display with physical HVAC buttons on both sides. Uh, this actually turns into two 8.4 inch screens. You can split it. As you can see, you can have that on bottom or climate on bottom and navigation up top. If you do plug in to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, that will default to the top screen. Physical buttons for the audio right here. Because this has the column shifter, which I prefer, you don't have the rotary dial shifter, but you still have the push button transfer case selection right here. Below the touchscreen display, you've got your integrated trailer brake control, your alternate trailer height, so you can push this to automatically level off the truck if you are hauling something very heavy, tow haul mode, exhaust brake. Something to note about the Rams, uh, I can speak from experience, is they have a very aggressive uh, full exhaust brake. So right now we are in full, push it again and you go to auto, and then push it again, it is off. If you keep it in full, you will almost come to a complete stop, especially uh, going downhill. You don't even need to use your brakes at all, which is very nice. To the right of that, we have your parking sensors off for the front and rear. And then it looks like this one has a six upfitter switches, which is very cool. So if you wanna do some light bars or you know, uh, air tank onboard air, you can plug them in underneath the hood and you will be good to go. Under that, you'd have traditionally a CD player, but on the 2020 and 2021s, they gave you this little storage cubby. Right here, we have two USB-Cs, two USBs, and an auxiliary jack outlet. This does have the uh, wireless charging setup. And then we have our configurable center console, two cup holders, change storage, as well as a storage tray. There's three configurable positions for this guy. We are in the first one right now. 
second one gives us only access to the cup holder and a little bit of the storage cubby right here. The third one gives us access to just the storage cubby, which gives us access to 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet down there. Coming back to the armrest, it is a two tiered center console armrest system. First one is felt lined with a USB port. Second one gives us access to the deep storage compartment. There's a good amount of stuff in here. If you look closely, you can see the previous generation of Ram trucks on that little center divider, which is pretty cool. On the back, they did give you some trigonomic ratios, some standard to metric conversions, as well as some uh, fraction to decimal conversions. Here is the Laramie leather seats with suede inserts, which is very comfortable. This vehicle does have two glove boxes. First one is right here. It is felt lined and LED lit. Second one's gonna be right here. Coming up top to the vanity, you have halogen lit vanity for passenger as well as driver. And then the driver's side has a three door universal garage remote. Coming up to this part, we have the uh, tailgate release button the master controls for the dome map lights, as well as your individual dome map light buttons. They are LED. Your assist button, your SOS button, and then your power sliding rear window button. In front of that, we've got your glasses storage, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. Unfortunately, with the 2021s, for some reason, uh, the um, video mirror and the heads up display I think is only available on the 1500 still so hopefully in 2022 uh, we will get that but overall uh, same interior as my truck I absolutely love this uh, the color scheme is absolutely beautiful I love the frost beige and brown color uh, with that being said let's take a look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have so because this truck still does share the cab with the previous fourth generation truck you are going to have the fourth gen stuff in here such as the first generation of in-floor storage on both driver and passenger side these seats do fold up and then we have access to this little load flat floor which when it is completed you can have storage underneath which is pretty cool two cup holders in the seat you have an led light right here too Seats fold down very easily and then getting in with the running boards and the grab handle is very easy. Now with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid five to six inches of leg room before my knees touch. I am 5'11 for reference. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with a cutout for a tablet. Right down here we have a little storage cubby. Heated captain's chairs two USBs, two USB-Cs, and another 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. This having the premium audio group, you're gonna have speaker grills pretty much everywhere. LED dome map light up top. Very nice grab handles. The center seat does double as an armrest slash cup holder if you would like. And then your hanger hooks are on the back portion of the headliner. Let's take a quick look at the bed. So before I start, I wanna apologize if the truck does get a little bit louder, it's because it's going into high idle mode. Uh, the Ram in the Cummins has a pretty aggressive high idle and it does get the engine up to operating temperature. But there are a couple ways to open the tailgate on this vehicle. The first way is with the button I had previously pointed to in the cab. Second way is with the key fob. And then the third way is a traditional way you're gonna come up to it, push it, and on the Laramies, it is assisted, so it is soft, open uh, tailgate. This one does come with a spray and bed liner from the factory. Eight foot box, you got one tie down in each of the four corners, as well as these tie downs on the side. This guy does come with the LED bed lighting. And because it comes with a uh, fifth wheel, and it has a fifth wheel gooseneck prep package, you get the seven pin connector, and then another camera system over here. Very nice. Putting the tailgate up is very easy, and it's up. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Unfortunately, there is some tint on it, and the washout from the sun is just a little intense right now. I'll go over the key features. 
This is a 2021 Ram 3500 Laramie Crew Cab 4x4 long box dual rear wheel with a base price of $53,900. Your standard equipment is going to be all right here. Your optional equipment will start here and go over onto this page for a total vehicle price of $84,000. $470. Because this is a heavy duty truck, it is not applicable to the EPA fuel economy estimate. I'd like to give a huge thank you and shout out to Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2021 Ram 15, 25, 35, or 4500 lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. In the comments section, Tell me what brand of heavy duty truck you would purchase and why. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and a share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.